The intense security outside the Malaysian courthouse is the first indication that this is no ordinary hearing. And then the media scrum, waiting to capture the arrival of the defendants, Vietnamese Yuan Thi Huang and Indonesian Siti Aisha. The two women are the only suspects in custody in the February killing of Kim Jong Nam, the estranged half-brother of North Korea's ruler. Their lawyers say they've been continually handicapped in preparing their defence. We were requesting for many things from them and, and they have not even replied to us. Despite five occasions we've written to them, asking them to record, uh, to obtain CCTV recordings. The pair are accused of smearing Kim's face with a toxic VX nerve agent at an airport in Kuala Lumpur. Four North Korean men suspected of taking part in the killing remain at large. Three others were allowed to return home as part of a deal to return Kim's body to Pyongyang. But the two women maintained they were just pawns, tricked into thinking they were carrying out a prank. I and my family, uh, all, uh, only thing that she cheated and uh, she innocent. She don't know what she's doing because she a good girl. Kim's killing triggered a diplomatic spat between Malaysia and North Korea which resulted in a temporary travel ban. US and South Korean intelligence accused North Korean agents of orchestrating the attack, something Pyongyang denies. Regardless of who the mastermind was, it is the perpetrators who are on trial. The two women face the death sentence if found guilty of murder. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.